You're listening to episode 132 of the Keto Diet Podcast. Today's episode is a little bit different. I'm sharing some of the content from my first paperback, The Keto Diet, now available as an audiobook. Today's topics include how fasting and keto work together, the benefits of fasting, the downsides to fasting, whether or not you can have fatty coffee on a fast, how fasting can supercharge weight loss, and so much more. If you have questions, about today's content, you can head on over to healthfulpursuit.com slash contact and ask me. You can grab today's podcast extra and transcript, including a bunch more tips on how to fast on your ketogenic diet by going to healthfulpursuit.com slash podcast slash E132. I got one cool thing for you today, and that is that my newest cookbook, the Keto Diet Cookbook, hit shelves April 9th, 20. 19. It's a complete roadmap to preparing keto meals based on your hunger level without having to rely on macro counting or calorie tracking, complete with 141 recipes made from whole foods and zero fancy ingredients. Plus, each and every recipe is a complete meal with balanced keto macros. And when you pre-order, you'll be entered to win a $500 keto pantry bundle, complete with everything you need to make fat burning your number one priority. Priority. To enter, all you have to do is pre-order the book, then head to ketodietbook.com, click on the free with your copy link at the top of the page, enter your details, and you can be entered to win. The bundle includes cooking essentials like almond flour, cacao butter, cacao powder, erythritol, keto baking mixes, shredded coconut, hemp seeds, nut and seed butters, coconut milk, gelatin, collagen, bone broth, lard, pork rinds, avocado oil, ghee, cacao nibs, chocolate chips, chia seeds, apple cider vinegar, and a whole bunch of snacks too. You can pre-order the Keto Diet Cookbook by going to ketodietbook.com and the giveaway is open until April 8th, 2019 at 11.59 p.m. Pacific. So again, you can get your copy at ketodietbook.com, then head back on over there, give me your details, and you will be entered to win. Okay, let's do this thing. Welcome to the Keto Diet Podcast, the show all about keto for women so you can burn fat, balance your hormones, and heal your body. Starting and maintaining keto can be challenging without the right support. So just for listening to the podcast, I want to give you 20% off the keto beginning with the coupon code Keto Podcast. That's all one word. This 30-day program gives you a clear step-by-step how-to so you can quickly adapt to a ketogenic diet, avoid common struggles, and get the results you crave. Go to healthfulpursuit.com slash begin to get your keto beginning discount today. If you're new around these parts, I'm Leanne Vogel. You may know me as the international bestselling author of The Keto Diet, founder of happyketobody.com, or maybe you know me as the nutritionist that likes dipping pork rinds in avocado oil mayo. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Thanks so much for listening. Okay, so on today's episode, I'm going to be reading from my book, The Keto Diet. That's my first paperback. And when we first set out to record the book, I wanted to be the one to do the audio recording for the audiobook. Now, this was around the same time that I was relaunching Happy Keto Body, just starting the writing process for my second and third paperback books, and trying to finalize all the insurance details for moving on to a sailboat full time. <laughs> I was also recording episodes of the podcast, creating blog post content, and just being a human on planet Earth. So you could say that I bit off a little bit more than I could chew. So I ended up finding someone awesome to record the audiobook for me. I kept the few first chapters that I recorded. So that's what you'll hear today. Me reading the Keto Diet paperback. But if you pick up a copy of the real audiobook on Amazon or Audible, just type in The Keto Diet Leanne Vogel to find it. You'll hear a different voice, but today it's all me. And if you're like, dang, this book sounds awesome, you can pick up a copy of my audiobook on Amazon or Audible. So let's cut over to a snippet from the audio recording of The Keto Diet. Fasting and ketosis, the power couple. Fasting is a scary word. I remember when my third grade class collected pledges for a fast that we were going to perform at school in support of our class's sponsor child. The plan was to drink only water until we broke our fast at the end of the school day with a pizza party. 
All the kids did really well, except for me. (laughs) I lasted until 9.35 a.m., officially 10 hours of fasting, when I dug some change out of my backpack and inconspicuously chose the richest possible treat out of the vending machine. From then on, fasting scared me. I wouldn't have dreamt of skipping breakfast, let alone going a whole day without food. As a hypoglycemic, I thought I was one of those people who just couldn't go long periods without food. End of story. But looking back, my inability to fast was tied directly to the fact that I was an intense glucose burner, relying heavily on six to eight meals a day to keep things balanced. Don't let fasting fool you like it did me. It's not nearly as scary as you might think it is. In fact, it's downright awesome. Intermittent fasting, also known as IF, is a practice of going 16 to 24 hours without food, without struggling through it. When you're in ketosis, going 16 to 24 hours without food is effortless. Your blood sugar is stable, which instantly reduces the need to eat every three to four hours. And without the ups and downs of blood sugar irregularities, the body isn't signaled to eat to make up for blood sugar lows. It all boils down to the fact that when we're in nutritional ketosis, you have limited access to energy stored in your body fat. Sure, our bodies will use dietary fat for fuel too, but even when we don't eat, we're constantly being supplied with fuel that's stored on our body. Which means that fasting as a fat burner is easy and natural when you don't need extra fuel, you don't get hungry. You also don't experience traditional hunger symptoms like anger, dizziness, lightheadedness, or fatigue. If you're in this for weight loss and planning to restrict calories as well as practice IF, please don't. It's one or the other. Combining calorie restriction with IF may cause health imbalances, can affect your body's ability to become fat adapted, and will make you downright miserable. Fasting comes with tons of benefits. Weight loss without slowed metabolism, which happens with calorie reduction dieting, stable blood sugar, improved insulin sensitivity and lowered insulin levels, loss of body fat, lower blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and triglycerides, reduced inflammation, increased levels of ketones, which has a whole host of benefits, higher levels of human growth hormone, which aids muscle growth and fat burning, reduced free radical damage, which means slower aging, lowered risk of cancer when fasting is paired with a reduction in glucose, which fuels cancer cells. Note, please, please don't think that the more and longer you fast, the better off you'll be. Fasting should be part of a balanced, fat-fueled lifestyle. If fasting doesn't feel good or you're forcing yourself to fast, stop, drop, and listen to your body. Interested in fasting? Use Rockefeller lattes to extend your fast. The recipe is roughly MCT oil plus cacao butter wafers, hulled hemp seeds, collagen tea equals a Rockefeller latte. I've also included the recipe in the downloadable PDF. Back to today's episode in a sec. Some people choose to do plant-based keto, others do carnivore keto, and I'd like to think I'm somewhere in the middle, loving meat and plants. I thrive on the right kind of animal protein, protein from healthy animals, animals that get treated fairly, have happy lives on pasture, and are raised ethically. This is why I choose to eat grass-fed and finished beef, free-range chicken, heritage-bred pork, and wild fish. And I'm so happy I can get these options from ButcherBox, a meat subscription service I've used since 2016. Listeners of the show get $20 off plus free ground beef for life. What does this mean? Well, if you head on over to butcherbox.com slash keto diet and sign up as a new member, you'll receive two pounds of ground beef in every order for the life of your subscription. This offer is only valid for the month of March 2019. So you can go to butcherbox.com slash keto diet to get $20 off your first order plus free ground beef for life. Okay, back to today's episode. My anti-fasting message. I just told you how great a practice fasting is, and now I'm going to say the exact opposite. Why? Well, because we are all different and not just different from one another. We're different from the people we were yesterday and the people will be tomorrow. There are days where fasting feels fabulous in my body, and there are days I can't go past 9 a.m. without a full keto breakfast. I feel like many of us women have an all or nothing mentality. If we commit to fasting, gosh darn it, we are going to do it every day to cash in on the benefits, even if it means crappy sleep, 
endless hunger, reduced ketones because of the stress we're putting on our bodies, less energy, imbalanced hormones, and more. If we read that it is good and we think we should be doing it, we do it regardless of the price we have to pay. So what do we do about this fasting thing? We listen to our bodies. Don't feel like fasting today? Don't. Have breakfast like a big salad, bacon and eggs, your body, your choice. Now, a rock of fuel latte doesn't count as breaking your fast. Drink your morning rock of fuel latte or RFL to give your body the nutrients and fuel while continuing with your fast. Continuing to drive ourselves into a fasted state, especially when our bodies are healing from hormonal imbalance like thyroid, adrenals, sex hormones, you name it, can make the situation worse. This was my experience, which is why I now fast only when it feels right. Today, I've been fasting for 16 hours and I'm not even thinking about food. But yesterday was an all out keto fest morning to night and it happens. If you're implementing a ketogenic diet in hopes of healing your body from imbalances such as adrenal dysfunction, hypothyroidism, or low sex hormones, it may be best for you to skip the IF practices or, at most, practice a 16-hour fast when it's convenient and totally natural for you to do so. It's also important to pay attention to your mental and emotional health during fasting. As someone with a history of disordered eating, following a strict intermittent fasting practice really didn't work for me. I found myself obsessing about my next meal, fantasizing about all the fabulous things I would eat, and calculating when I could eat them. I calculated fasting hours so frequently that I started dreaming about it. Nightmares with clocks and fasting schedules became my reality at least three times a week. And when I finally did break the fast at the planned time, I ate until I was so full that I could barely move. Forget about listening to my body. I ruled what I ate, when and how much. If you too have a tense relationship with dieting or food restriction or had an all out war between your body and food at some point in your beautiful life, intermittent fasting may trigger something in you that you don't want to experience again. I don't want to scare you away from fasting altogether. There are some great benefits to it, but keep in mind that you don't have to do it every day. Go with the flow. Listening to your body to create a keto intermittent fasting approach allows you to cash in on the IF benefits and use it as a tool to simplify your life, while also avoiding its potential pitfalls. For a beginner guide to intermittent fasting, see figure 3.6 in the PDF. Note, some benefits of IF may be realized only during a 20 to 24 hour fast, but this may be true only for those not in ketosis. When a glucose-fueled person practices IF for 20 to 24 hours, they experience the IF benefits as soon as their body starts creating a touch of ketones. The fat adapted, whose bodies are already creating ketones, may start seeing benefits after just 16 to 18 hours. If you are on medication, have type 2 diabetes, or are pregnant, breastfeeding, or underweight, please chat with your healthcare provider about whether IF is a good strategy for you before you go for it. Ladies, take note, fasting, hormones, and butter coffee. When I first started an intermittent fasting practice, butter coffee was all the rage. If you aren't familiar with butter coffee, it's a blend of butter, MCT oil, and coffee that you consume in the morning instead of breakfast. The concept behind the fatty drink is that drinking it in the morning on a fasting day provides the body with the nourishing benefits of grass-fed butter and other healthy saturated fats while keeping blood sugar stable, reducing hunger, extending a fast, and generating a boost of ketone bodies. It's a way to practice IF without having to go oodles of hours without food. I can't do butter, so I created a dairy-free mixture of coconut oil, MCT oil, and coffee. It was good, but after a couple of days of drinking it, I started getting the shakes. Each day after drinking the mixture, my mind began racing. I grew dizzy and lethargy set in shortly after. To top it off, my appetite slowly increased until the drink would hold me over for about 30 minutes at most. This continued for weeks. I tried replacing the coffee with herbal tea and the fats with coconut-free options, but I saw no change in my symptoms. My experience inspired me to create a video on butter coffee-based intermittent fasting, which is now one of my most popular videos on my YouTube channel, Healthful Pursuit. As soon as I shared my symptoms, women began speaking to me about it. Turns out a lot of us were suffering. So how do we get the benefits of fasting, enjoy butter coffee, and avoid the symptoms? The solution came when I realized that my symptoms were alleviated when I added a touch of whole food protein and carbohydrate to my butter coffee. Instead of the message, danger, only fat is coming in. 
that the fat only coffees had been sending my body. It sent my body the message, it's okay, we have fuel, fat, protein, carbs, it is safe. And it did so without supplying so much fuel that my insulin levels spiked to process it. So I was able to keep fasting safely. Thus, the Rocket Fuel Latte was born. You'll find the recipe in the downloadable PDF. From that day forward, I started adding 3 grams of carbs and just under 10 grams of protein to my fatty coffees. And within a couple of days, I felt completely different. Within two weeks, I couldn't believe I'd gone that long with the standard fat-only drink and the misery that accompanied it. Adding a touch of whole food carbohydrates and proteins to butter coffee influences leptin, the hormone that makes you feel full. I think the fat-only experience may play around with leptin, making the body a bit confused. Remember how leptin sensitivity can change on a low-carb diet? My thought is that having a fat-only drink in the morning lowered the level of leptin in my body, so I wanted more food even though I was physically full. We know that a slight increase in carbohydrate intake can help us become more sensitive to leptin, making us feel satiated longer. While I'd love to jump into a lab and test my theory, it's not in the cards. I, and so many in the Healthful Pursuit community, have had great experiences fasting with Rocket Fuel lattes, and I hope you will too. But I encourage you to test it out for yourself. Try a fat-only drink in the morning, the classic coffee with grass-fed butter and MCT oil, or if you're sensitive to dairy with cacao butter oil or grass-fed ghee, give that a try for a couple of days, then switch to a Rocket Fuel latte. See how you feel. And if you test your blood glucose and ketones, watch those ketones increase and your blood glucose begin to fall. Back to today's episode in a sec. Today's episode is sponsored by Perfect Keto. Perfect Keto creates the ultimate products for making the keto lifestyle easier and more effective. All of their products are dairy-free, made in the USA, gluten-free, doctor-approved, and use zero fillers. From exogenous ketones to boost your ketone levels for mental clarity, keto bars for a quality fat snack, MCT oil powder for making your coffee fatty and creamy without the dairy, and so much more. You can get 20% off anything in their shop by by going to perfectketo.com slash KDP. Use the coupon code KDP for your 20% off anything your heart desires. If you're unsure of the link, simply check out today's show notes for all the details. Okay, back to today's episode. I do believe that women may have a different experience with fasting than men. While there are studies that claim fasting doesn't have an effect on women's hormones, there are two reasons why those studies may not apply to women in everyday life. The first is that a 14-day period of fasting, the most common in studies, is likely not going to make a large impact on a woman's overall hormonal balance. The longest-term fasting studies tend to look at those who fast during Ramadan, the month during which Muslims refrain from eating from sunrise to sunset. Studies would be more likely to catch changes in hormones if they looked at women who have been practicing intermittent fasting for at least three months. The second is that many fasting studies are done on obese women. Fat cells create sex hormones, namely estrogen, and store these hormones and others. So when fat cells begin to shrink because fasting is causing these women to use body fat for fuel, the women in these studies become less able to produce estrogen. But at the same time, the shrinking fat cells are releasing stored hormones into the bloodstream to be discarded. It can take months for the process to level off. So when these individuals receive blood tests throughout a study, the results show a false hormonal landscape. Testing for hormones even a month into a fasting period isn't likely to show the whole picture. Given my experience with butter coffee, it makes sense to me that some women may react negatively to having just fat in the morning. If a woman of reproductive age goes days having only fat in the morning, fasting through the afternoon, and follows that fast with a calorie-restricted diet, ketogenic or otherwise, it could lead to imbalanced sex hormones and an interruption in fertility due to lack of sustenance. After all, the female body is, from nature's perspective, a complex baby-making machine. Growing babies requires tons of nutrients and calories, and if the body believes there won't be enough to support a baby, the reproductive system can shut down as a protective mechanism. And while fat intake is crucial for health, so is a balance of protein and carbohydrate. While many women can go weeks, months, or even years practicing a protocol of butter coffee, fasting, and calorie restriction, 
with absolutely no effect on their sex hormones, others are not so lucky. If you've recently adopted a butter coffee practice and have noticed symptoms quickly following, it could be a sign that your body doesn't like this approach. By switching to a Rocket Fuel latte and adopting the previously mentioned IF strategies, which encourage you not to restrict calories while fasting, your body will receive signals that there are enough nutrients to go around so it's safe to get pregnant. Even if you don't want to get pregnant, it's important for your body to feel that it's safe to do so. Thanks so much for listening. And let me know if you like this episode on Instagram by tagging me at healthful pursuit and tell me if you'd like to hear more from my first paperback, the keto diet. Okay. Bye. Thanks for listening to the keto diet podcast. Join us again in a couple of days to discover more keto for women secrets for your fat fueled life. The Keto Diet Podcast, including show notes and links, provides information in respect to healthy living, recipes, nutrition, and diet, and is intended for informational purposes only. The information provided is not a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment, nor is it to be construed as such. We cannot guarantee that the information provided on the Keto Diet Podcast reflects the most up-to-date medical research. Information is provided without any representations or warranties of any kind. Please consult a qualified physician for medical advice and always seek the advice of a qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding your health and nutrition program.